Few things in the world feel as good as being able to utterly thrash and trash the Ottomans who attacked me with over 200,000, almost a quarter of a million landed men. They attacked us. And look at them now. They've lost 360,000 men. I have lost 122. Life is good. I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. And welcome back to EU4 1.32, the Origins expansion. We started as Ethiopia, and now we are the Jewish Aksum. Life is good. We are going to consolidate quite a bit of Egypt in this peace deal. A little bit of AE. Never kill nobody. AE ain't a -E -A, number to number, right? It's going to cost us a lot of admin, but to geez, oh, Pete, do I not care? I could not care less. So uh, right now, we're just kind of sitting back and waiting. We're letting their uh, war exhaustion go up. They're buying it down, which is fine with me. I don't care. To be honest with you, I could probably actually uh, start moving up a little bit here. So we should. And uh, see if we can look for a fight in this defensive provinces. Let's actually keep this army over here. Keep these guys over here. This will be the honey pot. This uh, Trabalus province. Ah, what are they offering me? Oh, wow. They're offering me quite a bit, actually. What is that? Usually, it's not even worth reading these because uh, they remove the half um, the half AE thing. At least as far as I know, they did. So, they will see Karga, Farfare, Sina, Akaba. Where's that at? Here? Al Wall? Oh my gosh, I don't know what any of these provinces are. Al Wall, where's that one at? Al Al Waiya? Where's this at? Where's this at? I'm hitting F and nothing's happening here. Al Waj. Okay, that one. Tabuk. Minya. Where's Minya? Minya. T. Fayum. Bahiria. And return return Sinjar to them. So basically, they give me all of this and all of this without Cairo. I think I like this this one better. How much will I get with this one? Fifty seven PP. Goodness gracious, that's crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the whole greed is good sort of mentality and we're going to sit back and we're just going to wait. I will gladly occupy more of their clay. Like I'm the longer this war goes on, it's not hurting me. I am fine. Right? I am fine in this war. I am not hurting at all. We still have a little bit of ticking war score to go as well. Not much, but 5% more, which will get us quite a few more uh, reasons with them. And uh, we'll just continue to occupy them. And then we'll take a little bit of money as well because we're going to need to pay off these loans and Granted, we did uh, we did uh, sell titles, which gave us quite a bit, but get these guys over here. I need to steal some maps of these guys. Uh, let's steal maps of Anatolia so we can actually see what's going on up here. Of course, I can't see this one province, the classic, but I need this spy network. Ah, here we go. Here we go. This is actually exactly what I wanted here. So those guys are going to head on down there. They'll be there on the 19th. Can I be there before the 19th? I reckon I can. Oh, shoot. That was actually an accident. I like... Oh, man. An event happened and it like screwed me up. So, oh, wait. No, no, no. We're good. They'll be there on the 21st of November. Son of a gun. Actually, if these guys just hold on for a couple of days. Oh, yeah, that's a good battle for us, actually. That's a minus one. All right, very good. Okay, I'll take it. I was uh, not uh, not so optimistic on that one, but that's fine. Very good, very good. Yeah, yeah, that was just me not paying attention, honestly. That was, that was just me not paying attention. And as long as they don't have mill access through here, I don't care. I'll let these guys hang out down here and... Siege down Tabuk. It's all infantry, so it doesn't matter. This is an all art, all um. Nice. We won the siege of Tabuk. Let's get these guys over here. Attack these guys here. That is fine with me. I'll gladly send in my infantry. This is an absolute clap. Is that a wipe? Is that a wipe? 
no wipe, sadly, but... Oh. And by the way, I get asked this often. How do you know if it's a wipe? If you overrun them, if you completely destroy their morale within the first three phases of the uh, battle, which I think is nine days, you will overrun them. And you get a, what's called a... I, I, most people call it a stack wipe. You can call it an overrun. It's the same thing. That's how that works. So now these guys are absolutely just getting destroyed. This is what you get. This is what you get. They attacked me. I want anybody curious as to why I have this vendetta. They attacked me. It is only natural that we get these guys crushed. Right? Is this all states? It's all states as well. So this is great. This will continually rise their um, war exhaustion. They're buying it down. They're probably a defender of the faith too, if I had to guess. I'll take the prestige. We've won Haleb. All right, let's get up here and... Uh, Get up here and continue to uh, march the armies forward to siege them down. Prestige is good, I guess. I'm already maxed out, but that is good. Safe to say, first war with the auto. Great success, right? All right. Again, same thing. I really want to bait them into attacking my boys in, in bad terrain. So let's actually have you guys come up here. 10 stack. It's very, very juicy. Very uh, tempting for them, right? Um, let's take it. Next idea group. We could go with like a offensive for better generals. I'd gotten a comment about innovative. Uh, innovative is good if you take it early on. I definitely wouldn't take it after the first two idea groups, uh, but that's just personal preference. I think offensive is the one that appeals to me the most because it is the one that is going to give us the most sort of uh, bang for buck, if you will, whenever it comes to investment of our mana. So. Let's uh, get that guy a little more leveled up here. If they want to attack me here on this Highlands province, I will gladly accept it. I will receive them here. Same thing. I'll come over here. I will scorch this province. I will scorch this province. And we'll just kind of sit back and wait for them to attack me. If they want to attack me, they can. Sivas, come on. Do it. Attack me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. All right, and I'm keeping an eye over here on these zealots. I think we're fine. These guys are probably going to head down to Adana and head into Antioch, if I had to guess. Very good. Be there on the 23rd. I can be there before that. All right, they're going in. So that's a, that's a, a bad battle for them because they're going to lose a lot more men than I am. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's the power of flanking right there. See? 400,000 men they've lost. We are finally finished with that. Look at this manpower. Oh my gosh. And even better. Look at these goods produced. 30%. Watch our income. So our income right now is at 91. Watch it on the monthly tick here. Ninety-one. Ninety-six. That doesn't sound exactly right, but that's okay. We can repay a couple of loans, so let's repay the older ones. I guess they're all going to be due roughly at the same time. Oh. Oh, we're literally like fine. Great. We have an extra merchant, so let's... um. Huh. Where do we want to steer from, I suppose, is the question. I know we need to make our way down here if we want to get like a solid base, but I really want to work my way up into Europe. That's like my main goal here. Let's transfer with you here. A little bit more money here. We're... We basically have a lot of trade power over here because of these occupations, but there's nothing that is uh, really stopping us from... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. They're trying to backdoor me. Okay. Let's see here. They're very close to being interested in piecing out. Very close, actually. Okay. Let's have these guys reinforce them. Very good. This is an absolute win for us. They will not be able to reinforce in time. And uh, even better yet, I will come out and match meet them in these drylands. These sorts of battles are really good for us. Oopsies. Look at them losing all their men to attrition over here. This is drylands as well. Oh, yeah. Let's um get these armies grouped up over here with a general. Yep. So this is good. I don't know about this one specifically. I will head on in and attack these guys. Looks like we're winning. Oh, just kidding. 
What? Why can I not flee? What do you mean? All right, I guess. All right, they want out. This is what I'm taking. It feels really good to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. Let's turn these edicts off. Don't need them. Don't need that one either. Just like that. We have beaten the Ottomans. Not beaten, just beaten. We have destroyed the Ottomans. What's their... Um... So we didn't take any of their money. But we did take 20% of their professionalism. They are now on par with us in professionalism. Incredible. We are hurting for mana. That's fine. Let's get rid of these mercs here. Obviously, we're going to have to uh, spend some time to kind of reorganize our armies because... Yeah. Printing press has been embraced by the Ottomans. Imagine that. But yeah, we're back to making money again. We can pay off our loans. And just like that, no loans. None. We're losing inflation. I think that uh, our nation is healing. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean to tell me the Ottomans are no longer a valid rival? How in the world? How is that a thing? Kind of don't believe that. Anyways, let's... Uh, can I get PP? No. Let's uh, embargo our rivals then. I don't know how Delhi is a valid rival, but the Ottomans are not. Doesn't seem to be appropriate, but that's okay. Now, I do want to make sure that I'm continuing to spy net build spy network on these guys. Austria is still... Oh, the Emperor is triumphant. Oh, Catholic League won. So, speaking of, how are these guys doing? They broke alliances with me. Unfortunate. All right. Let's uh, revoke that embargo on these lads. Obviously, we need to core this up. I have all my men over here taking a ton of attrition. So let's um, get you split. Let's have this half handle unrest over here. And then the other half will handle unrest on the other side of the nation. Obviously, we will continue to do this. Now... Oh, apparently they had Miltech on us at the end there. I didn't realize that. Well, I would say that went very well, considering that then. I'm not going to state this stuff up over here. I don't care about it enough quite yet. It's all kind of poopy dev. Man, I'm not going to lie. My uh, my chest is pounding a little bit from that, uh, from that war, man. I, uh, I did not have a whole lot of faith. After I got declared on, I got, I got nervous. Okay, we obviously need to attack these guys because we're going to full annex them as well. Because you guys are punks. You deserve it. You guys are absolute punks. You totally deserve this. The Nubians shall perish. Here we go. Trade efficiency is overpowered. I will take it. Um, yep, this is fine. This mill tech is not super good. Except for the fort. The fort will be solid, but we'll uh, we'll upgrade our mill tech in a bit. I definitely want to make sure I put an emphasis on... Um, first and foremost, receipt getting tech. Oh, yes. 424 is... Uh, 524 is very solid. Oh, yeah. Very good. Hopefully he's got a decent, uh, okay. Monthly war exhaustion. I'll take that. These guys will get full annexed, of course, or maybe I'll actually make him a vassal. We'll make him a vassal. I don't want to pay for him. That's fine with me. They have a claim on him. They do. You got some friends over there. I'm not going to worry about him right yet. How's that for some borders, huh? Oh, Mutapa ate him. Oh, when Mutamba. Anybody ever seen the um, the old vine where it was Dikembe Mutombo? And uh, somebody said, like, but you're not just M Dikembe Mutombo. And then Dikembe Mutombo, if anybody doesn't know, he was a, he's a famous NBA player from, like, the, the what, the 80s and the 90s, I think. But he, um, he said his name, his full name, and he's, like, a Congolese, if I recall. And he, uh, he said, like, oh, you know, Dikembe Mutombo, you know, it's like a sentence. 
and uh, somebody put the beat to Versace, like the Drake song, it was like Versace, Versace, uh, or Migos. It was Migos, my bad. But I think Drake was on the song. But anyways, and uh, it was hilarious because it was like right on beat. <laughs> if you if you appreciate a good Vine, I think you would appreciate that one. I miss Vine, man. Call me old fashioned, but uh, what is that? Uh, TikTok and the Musical.ly just don't don't quite do it. No, Musical.ly was like TikTok before TikTok. Strange app. Definitely uh, not wholesome. Not a wholesome app. So we have a missionary working there. How about not, dude? Let's uh, core you up there and we'll core every We'll get everything else converted first. Let's uh, go ahead and click this button. I don't really need the governing cap, but or the governing stuff, but we actually can take a look at our other reforms and see what we want to if we want to pick anything else because that'll be good for us. There you go. Very solid. All right, you guys can drill now. I think we also need to start really fo putting some focus on our Kawa infantry. Definitely need to start building some manufacturers and getting our income up. Because obviously we're not making a lot of money here. But, um... Yeah, I don't really know what to do with my merchants aside from that. I definitely want to move my trade capital up here, but we're going to need to get a couple more provinces up here, obviously. Let's see here. Austria. How you guys feeling about me, by the way? Could have sworn that I had better relations with them. Oh, wait, what is this? They're heirs of a different dynasty, huh? Interesting. I hope I don't have war taxes on. I do not. Very good. That could have been bad if I would have, uh, if I wouldn't have realized that. Let's invest some money. We'll make Funge love us. So here's the question. Now that would be a power move. Except I own most of their cores now. Uh, looks like they had them revoke a bunch of their cores. Understandable. We're not in any position to... Um, we're not in any position to really be going out of our way for uh, conquest right now anyways. How much manpower mana are we gaining? Mill mana is what I meant to say there. We need to start deving our institution here. It is spreading, but it's not going to spread fast enough to make it worth our time. Also, click these buttons here. I like the money. We also need to take a look at our missions, because I'm sure we're capable of doing a couple of them. Um, Ligurian Sea, Gulf of Venice. All right. Well, that's not going to happen. Liberate Alexandria will definitely be coming soon. That'll give us some more permanent claims over here. Conquer Antioch, which is going to be to make our way up there, which gives us missionary, missionary strength, missionary maintenance cost. And then this one will give us permanent, really. Stability, tolerance to the true faith, manpower, true faith provinces. That's very solid. That's literally like uh, orthodox, basically. Orthodox buffs. So that's really good. Um, Cool. Well, dang, man. Boy, did that feel good, though, beating up on the Ottomans like that. I hope you guys appreciate that. Please do make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Now I can build my manufacturing because I have tech. Couldn't do it before. Feels bad, man. Half off mill guy. Please give mana, please. Build a couple more manufacturers. These manufacturers will continually improve our, our uh, income. Yeah, maybe I should move my trade capital over here, man. Let's move our trade capital here and then transfer with him instead of collecting there. So that'll take our trade income from 29.9, so basically 30, 31, but I think it'll actually go up a little higher even. 30. Eh. It's more centralized now at the very least. We definitely can upgrade our centers of trade over here as well, because you can see there's still quite a bit that's being steered out. Austria, man. So much success in one place. We do need to dev this institution, though. Let's uh, turn our ports off. Except for over here. We'll keep that one there. 
Yeah, we'll keep these two on. But the rest can turn off because we want more money. So we can start upgrading these guys. Right, we need more dev there. Uh, Shoot. Yeah, just kidding. I'm not going to upgrade them. This one I'll upgrade, though. Oh, we're making a little bit more money. I think it's good. 200 Diplo, but, uh, you know, it'll probably be worth in the long term, right? Upgrade this one as well. Maybe. I don't know. Quite a bit of trade we're steering there. I wonder, what if we've collected or protected trade in like Coromandel instead? It'll take us from 33 and a half, 33.79, that's an increase. Any more? 33.8, I'll take it. I will take it. We also need to make sure that these guys are built in all of these provinces. Uh, looks like it is built in all of these ones, very good. Except for this one. Get rid of this one. We don't need that building. Churches are not useful late game. Burn, or not burn them, but uh, peacefully destroy the churches. Peacefully protest the churches. Fiery, but mostly destruction of the church. Fiery, fiery but mostly peaceful destruction of the church. Reap the administrative benefits, huh? Or mill. Well, I'm working on a mill tech, so might as well get a little bit of benefits from that, right? Free admin and force limit. Yeah, sure. I'll take admin. I'll help us catch up on tech again. Looks like admin is where we're doing the best. Maybe I should have actually moved my full lawn capital. VJ loves me. Or a synagogue. Let's build a church. Build the church. Very solid. We're definitely in a good spot financially. Our half off trader, he's 53. It's okay, I suppose. That's not ideal, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna cry about it. Uh, Diplo rep, let's see here. They're all full price. So let's just get rid of the level ones and see if we can roll a uh, Diplo, uh, a trade efficiency guy. Level three, I'll pay for that. That's okay with me. We really need to get caught up on tech. So mill tech, I'm okay with this. But uh, Diplo, we definitely, definitely need to be catching up on because there's a lot of money that's being left out on the table because we do not have Diplo tech. We have no unrest, which is really nice. But yeah, now we're just going to kind of chill and play, 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 lay low for a bit while we are waiting on... Um, while we're waiting on um, Institution, which is going to take a minute because we're going to end up having to dev it ourselves if I had to guess. Hmm. Oh, that's Ottoman's lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to get it. It's not going to come to our land anyway, anytime soon. Because I'm going to need to get it in these two provinces in order to uh, be able to embrace it. So I think I have to move my capital here. I don't think I really have a choice. 315, man. Ooh. Oh, it's, that's a lot. I don't know, man. Because we're not going to get it anytime soon at all. It's not going to happen. Yeah, we're not going to get it anytime soon, man. Ugh. I'm just like sitting here thinking about what the best way to do about to go about this is. Because like we could dev it in Cairo. Or no, we couldn't. We definitely couldn't. But we could dev it like up here. But then it's still going to cost us a ton of money to... Where are we at here? Devin and Shark, yeah? You know what? We'll do it. A little bit. Yeah, this is fine, actually. I will do this. It's actually going to save us a ton of money to do it up here in the, uh, in the farmlands. And it'll still get some spread, some passive spread from the Ottomans, which is good. I know that I'm working on, uh, I'm behind on Diplotech and I'm working on a mill idea group, but 
I think this is fine. Looks like our general is dead. So let's get a new one. We just need to make sure we, we keep our armies drilling. Speaking of. If we're not having rebels, we might as well do that. Now, I don't want to full core this yet. I will eventually, but I don't need to right yet. Right yet so we'll hold off on it for now. Yeah, the passive is good as well. So the passive says we'll get it in six years, but if I spend a couple of extra clicks here, now we'll get it in four years, five years. I think that's good. We'll go two more clicks here. And that way we'll embrace it in three years. It'll spread to Cairo very quickly. And uh, we'll probably be able to embrace it after that if, if I had to guess. So let's switch these guys over to institution spread here, which will actually make it go even faster. Very good. All right, cool. Well, how about that for an episode? Not only did we destroy the Ottomans, but we're catching up on tech. We're working on our next idea group. Offensive is great because, and I didn't really explain it. Offensive gives you better general pips, guaranteed. Siege ability, which that was the big thing that the Ottomans had on us, but we were able to counteract it by uh, basically not letting them siege anything by killing them in battle. But uh, if we take a look here, look at this. Army losses. The entire campaign, let me see here. The entire campaign, I have lost 581,000 men. Infantry. I guess if you look at this number, this is more telling. 653,000 men have died. 148 of them through attrition. So, good. Generally, you want to make sure that it's at less than 50% of your men are dying to attrition. That's the general rule of thumb, for me at least. So, that's solid. The Ottomans have lost almost 2 million. 1.88 million with 1.15 million of them being to attrition. And you have to remember, we killed, what, 300 some of them in just that war alone. That one war racked up almost a third, over a quarter, but to up to a third of the entire losses they've had for the entire game. Likewise for us as well. We, we lost about, I think it was about 150 was the last number I saw. 140, 135, 140. So about a third, no, that'd be about, about a fifth of ours so wow what a run so far guys i have we went from consolidating looking good attacking our neighbor getting enforced peace by the mamlux getting crushed <laughs> coming back crushing everybody around us and now destroying the ottomans guys leave a like on the video if you're enjoying some axum and uh if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell if you want to support me my patreon is linked in the description below my videos as well as my discord subreddit twitter it's all linked there and uh, that's all I got for you guys. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.